have a little bit of fun with this flick graph. So we're going to work with a little chipmunk, our little chipmunk friend here, but we're going to turn this little chipmunk into a meme. So let's go into explain to you and build a, uh, build a little meme here. How about that? So I've got a new, let's see here. I've got a project. Let's create a project. And it's going to be chipmunk meme, right? And we'll create, I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to add some text that says, I'm nuts about Pat Shank. All right, so let me just, I'm going to go with an Oswald typeface. It, it what that will do is it's a little bit um, narrow. Uh, so I can make it a little bit larger without. All right, I'm going to make the text color white and I'm going to give it a, um, a little shift. See that? I'm going to add a little bit of, of color to that. Now I'm going to close the canvas and I'm going to se select a background video and I'm going to get that little chipmunk. All right, I'm on the back end. I have just added a background video. I added our little chipmunk on the back end. I had it shut off because I was looking around for something. So I have the canvas closed. I'm adding the background video, and then I will, you know, see how this works uh, because the section that I want is where the the little chipmunk is kind of just standing there, and I'm going to be animating his little mouth in our flick graph. So let's see how this works. Okay. This is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see the scene preview. All right, what I want to do then is go up here, right? I want the text, I need to apply a an effect to the text and I really probably am gonna just fade it in. I'm not even gonna fade it in, I'm gonna do nothing because this is going to be a flick graph, right? So I'm not worried about that. But what I do want is I want to be able to have that entire uh, video of the squirrel, and that's what's really important, so the flick graph. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a video out of this. I'm going to render this as a video, and then I will go into my flick graph, and I'll let you know what that looks like. I like to make it 1920. I like it to be perfect video perfect video quality that works for me and I will start the export so I'm gonna make this as a meme so I'm creating a video with text so of course I can make the flick graph just using the video and animating the squirrel but I want to do something a little bit more with it you can add text in explain to you you can add it in you know all kinds of software you can add that in Camtasia or in um, uh, or in Keynote, or Wii Video, or any one of a number of uh, video compositors I'm using it explain to you right now. Um, I could just as easily do that in Camtasia. So I will create the video from this, and then I'll be back. All right, this has been finished now. I'm gonna close down explain to you. And uh, one of the reasons I'm going to do that is because if I don't, I'm gonna get in trouble with all the software that's open on my computer. Simple as that. I've got Flickgraph. Flickgraph does take a, uh, a lot of uh, resources. Um, and I've also got my Camtasia open. I have explained to you, I've got some browsers, I've got a bunch of stuff. So you want to uh, minimize the drain on your computer with this. Now I'm gonna replace our little chipmunk friend here with this new video that I just created and it has the uh, the text on it. Let's see. Okay, there is the text. All right, I'm that's about Pat Shank, right? So we want a. I want to get get this pick this with this guy, right there, right there where he's like chewing, right, chewing those little nuts. 
there we go. See that? And then I'm going to save that. Now what I really want to get to the point is where I'm just going to be cropping that. But this is this is cool. Alright, so I've got this. Let me see. Where's his little face here? I just want him chewing. See that? I think I need to open this up a little bit because I don't want too much head motion. I want to move him over here a little bit. Right, because I, I just want to get him the chewing part. See that? All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock that. Let's see how this works. I'll take a picture. And then I am going to just concentrate on our little friend's mouth where he's chewing, 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 and see how that works. All right, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, right? Our little mouth, and I'm going to just erase around his mouth right here, just like that, and that's it. And that is as much as I'm gonna do. You see that? All right. And then I'm going to export that. I'm going to save that.